in specific. So let's dive right into it. I've heard that Utopian Ray is a big fan of Persona 5, so he is allowed to play the character. That's what I've been told. That's what my sources tell me. Because obviously we live in a world where you have to play... Anyways, um, here we go. 53% on Mystery. Now... Final Destination is a pretty interesting first stage pick for both these players. Going to be able to just erase those platforms a lot. One thing I do want to notice is that Mystery tends to get very physical in the camera whenever he plays the game, whenever he's feeling like on point. So right now it might be able on that warm-up spot. Meanwhile, Utopian Utopian is one of the like closed, composed type of dudes. My man's super quiet. Man, a few words, trying to make a splash. We got uh. Mr. Persona himself out here. There we go, Aegon, be able to catch that. Arsene gives Joker just such a humongous boost into his kill power, as well as that Matrakarn. 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 When it's a physical, when it's a physical. Matrakarn. Yes, when it's magic, it's Matrakarn. When it's, when, it's ma when it's physical, it's Tetrakarn. Tetrakarn. I was saying Lekrakarn. Leprechaun. 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 Oh, um, yes. Anyways, yeah, so counter from Joker. <laughs> Much better. It's broken in Persona, so why not make it broken in this game? It's going to be really good to be able to catch that Dolphin Slash whenever Mystery's trying to recover. She's going to have to go for those little recoveries a lot of the time. Toby Ray's got a big lead here, 111%. Tries to just tap on an a -ha without getting too risky. Really good at being able to catch the uh, in case Mystery wants to go for a double jump. But every single time he he opts to conserve his jumps, falls off stage just in case he gets caught by Ray. Very important. Go on to that double jump for as long as possible. And Dominic has got a lot of momentum here. He's not letting Mystery land too much. Has complete control of this stage. Wait, baits out the swing from Mystery. Fades away at the forward air. Gets the boot from Arsen and gets the kill. He's he took right up two stocks. Utopian Ray up one stock. <laughs> there we go, pivot grab. Drags him down. This is where the money happens. Big money. Mystery ate the double jump. Could capitalize on this. You saw him continue to swing, even though Utopian Ray opted to go for the down B. Try to charge up uh, his little persona meter. Get some more of that SP. I mean, just gotta drink a iced tea or something. 67% punishes the Aha, Aegon. Down here is a fantastic combo starter for a Joker whenever he has Arsene in play. It puts a lot of hits on the opponent, so it allows him to be able to capitalize on top of it. Neutral air to push him, poke him out of shield. 97% on Mystery. Tons of projectiles coming out from Ray, trying to apply as much pressure as possible without getting too greedy. Again, Dolphin Slash, as long as it's recovering too low, it's going to be really hard to catch that uh, B B Car Tetracarn. I got it, I got it, I got it, Tetracarn. Against his opponent. Good job. I played Persona 5. I know what I'm talking about. Sounds great. Yeah. I played Persona 4, man. Anyways, down tilt. Gets the grab. 132% on Mr. E. What's he going to go for? Gets the forward air. Kicks Lucina the crap out of here. He's going to take game one in Utopian Ray's favor. Pretty solid game for him, honestly. Last time these guys played, I believe last week, it was a lot closer. So Utopian Ray just playing in pretty dominant fashion, looking pretty clean to face off against Venia in Winner's Finals. Let's see if uh, Mystery's got any more trick uh, bag of tricks up his uh, arsenal here, man. Is Arsene? Huh? Is Arsene? No. Arsene? Arsene. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, Lucina's got Arsene. Uh, didn't you play um, Tokyo Mirage Session? I didn't. Neither did I, but <laughs> and it apparently involves Fire Emblems. That's why we brought jo It makes sense for Joker to be in this game because of that game, obviously. Anyway, Smashville. <clears throat> The Tokyo Mirage session was uh, Shin Megami Tensei and Fire Emblem, not Persona and Fire Emblem. It was Persona, dog. It wasn't Persona. I know it was called Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem, but that joint was Persona all over. It was about idols. I don't need to say anymore. Smashville, 40% on Mr. E, pretty clean so far out of the gate. Got Utopian Array, already connecting that grab. Okay, this is Mystery's time to shine. He's opting to, opting to go for a smaller stage. Makes it a little bit more comfy, more cozy, if you will, if he's trying to show up in New York apartment. Oh, spikes him into the ground, but Arsene's back out here, throwing out some more Aegons. Waits for the counter, gets back onto the stage. Mr. E looking for an answer. Using the back air, trying to catch that ledge jump, but a good delay from Ray. Gonna be able to avoid that downer. I don't blame him for trying to go for it. Mystery is gonna easily go for the block. A lot of gun special coming out from Ray. Just those bullets are obnoxiously loud, like a real gun. And uh, 
Forward throws him, 139, tries to get the Aegon again, forces out the air dodge, and Mystery was exposed there for a second. I think he held down while using Dolphin Slash, was trying to poke him out, but you told me he was going to be able to cl close out that stock pretty quickly, and things are starting to snowball a little bit for Ray. Well, hold on a sec. Call out that jump. Exactly what Mystery called for. Yeah, the E Classic, the, oh, you're in front of me? Let me just F smash you at 95%. Oh, shit. Okay. Go for some more dancing blades. Notice how uh, Mystery likes to go for these down tilts a lot. Pretty safe tool in his arsenal. Of, uh, one, of the, one of, if not the safest tool. I was be able to poke from a distance. There's a very little cooldown right afterwards. Almost plus on shield. What more could you ask for? Aegon. Good call out. Saw him go for that double jump. Just immediately goes for the up air. Tries to uh, delete that stock completely. But great DI coming out from Mystery. Gonna be able to survive for another day, another battle, another trial. Drop down forward air. Baits out the counter and gets a. Big punish, Utopian Ray getting a little overzealous with that counter. I know Mystery likes to swing, but because of that bad call out, Mystery now finds himself with the lead for the first time, but it's not gonna last. Forward air one, great combo starter as well. It leads into imagination. Very similar to Lucina's narrow one, honestly. Punish, was looking for the grab, was whiffing it. Just goes for the forward tilt, better than nothing. Gets a forward smash, Ray recovering a little bit too high. He exploded, dust to dust, ash to ash. I think I mixed up that saying, but regardless, we're going to take this to a game three scenario. What a comeback from Mystery 2. You saw Utopian Ray with a pretty significant lead. It all went downhill the second he went for that counter, the Tetracarn off stage, and uh, or when he recovered back on stage, and Mystery just waited, played patient, reacted, forward smashed. There's also that case where um, a lot of people, a lot of Joker mains like to talk about how Arsene actually has the worst recovery than without Arsene. Because the grappling hook is just a really quick, easy tether grab to get back to the ledge. Meanwhile, with Arsene, unless you're close to the ledge to you know abuse that invincibility, if you cover from a very long distance, it's pretty easy to two frame. And you saw it right there when he went for the up B. I think that was a, I don't know what he was trying to go for with the mix up there. But if he had a grappling hook instead, he wouldn't have been in that situation for Mystery to capitalize and kill him at what, 60%? Kalos Pokemon League going for game number three, the final game of this set. Winner's gonna move on to face off against Venia in finals. Loser's gonna take a trip down to uh, Loser's Quarters. Regardless, both these players are guaranteed fifth. A little bit of money, money. We have 101 entrants today. So again, we are PGR tier D. D as in dog, yes. Uh, PG stats make it happen. Here we go forward air dropping down. I like that fadeaway from Mr. E. He knew that Ray was going to go for that double jump and try to space out the forward air. Just couldn't quite find its mark. Would have been devastating for Ray. Would have put him in a very, uh, very bad pickle. Spot dodge, gonna be able to avoid that grab. Gut landing down with the gun special. Unfortunately, the second comes down, Mystery is gonna be caught swinging with those dancing blades. Ooh, you see Mystery moving a bit. You saw him go for the jump out of shield, catches the back air on the platform, gets rid of Joker's first stock. Now it's open raised time to shine. He can't let this fall out from his grip just yet. He has such a strong, solid game one. What can he do here? Fall down, up air, up tilt, combos begin, catches the double jump, Arsene's out. That's a really good time for Arsene right there because he was able to capitalize on the invincibility because he was so close to the ledge. Up air, trying to space out away from Joker's down air. Punishes the forward smash. Quick dash attack, really good punisher in Joker's case. Really strong, solid move. Gets the grab. Forward air, he exploded. Yo, what are the sides on Arsene's shoes, man? Because that is going to be destructive. And right there, that was Mystery thinking that his down B um, was going to end a little bit earlier. Oh, wow, we got the animation, too. You saw Joker's face distract us. I got lost in his eyes. 130% on Rain. Look out for that Aegon. Chain to throw out that neutral air, applying a lot of pressure with the forward air. Mystery looking for this, his mark. Forward air. Oh, we got grabs for days. They both even went for a re-grab right afterwards. That's not safe. Oh, God. He's going super deep. Mystery opting to recover high to avoid the forward air. Good guess on Mystery's part. Wants a tilt of some kind. 152% trying to catch us with an up air. 
gun gonna be able to you know catch him off guard that pivot grab grabbed from a year away what's gonna happen she'll get up another pivot grab coming from ray just tosses him back out the platform eight is aha unfortunate turn of events i mean it's your counter pick though so you snooze you'll lose sets him up with a forward air Catches the down smash. Mr. E caught himself in an air dodge that actually put him upwards, which actually extends how long you're vulnerable for, which is why he was able to capitalize. There we go. Final stock. Final game. Last life, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Mr. E uses double jump. He took can capitalize. Just goes for the re-grab. Just continues this onslaught of kicks. It's my favorite move in Persona 5 is the kick move. Waits for the air dodge. Oh, so guessed wrong. He got the air dodge read guessed right, but then just didn't guess correctly what direction he was going to fall in. Down smash would have been the safer bet. Back throw. Trips to Cena off stage. Back airs him off stage again. Mr. E has stage control. Arson's out. This might be the last time we see this uh, persona, so let's make it count, Ray. That's what I'm talking about. 105. As I'm off stage, Aegon. Trying to apply a ton of damage. I'm trying to apply pressure with the back airs against Mr. E's shield. Gets the grab, tosses him back out again. He wants his projectile so badly. This is the time Mr. E goes for shield breaker, but gets caught by the back air. Utopian Ray bringing it back the very last moment. I'm telling him that they're the best. For a reason. Look at that. Solid gameplay all around coming from Ray there at the very last second. You saw him, he had so much stage control. There's another prime shine moment here. Yeah, you can set him up with the forward air. Because he did that air upwards, can we get a slow-mo on that there, uh, helper? So when he goes for the air dodge, right? It's a little bit later when he comes up here. I right, start it now. So like he goes, right? He jumps up here because he gets caught by the forward air. Swing number one, right? Calls out the air dodge. He recognizes there's an air dodge coming, so he fast falls. Hits him with the first swing of forward air. Bumps him up, and Mr. E... Panicking or trying to go for a tech on that platform? I'm not sure. I think he was actually trying to go for a tech. Ends up air dodging a little bit upwards. Puts him into so much free fall animation. The Utopian Ray's like, mm, what should I punish with? I think I'm going to charge down smash just to cover both my bases. Gets the kill clean from Ray. That, that just looked like an unfortunate moment for Mr. I think he honest to God was trying to tech that platform. It looked like he was going to tech in as well. Oh, what's up, guys? Like this the, is the jam, bro. Like the, I feel like the camera is a little. It is a little let skewed. Just, let, me just, let me just. 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 <laughs> oh god! Oh, god. No, oh, the roof. That's ugly. That's ugly. <laughs> why would we you show? Why would we you clean show? in New York. We promise we clean. <laughs> we clean. Yo, it's what's up, guys? I'm Asti. I'm here with Player Four right here. Uh, we're bringing you some great action. Uh, player uh, Four is not here. I don't know where he went. I think it's too long. Let me just. Let me just. Let me just there you go. Let me, uh, this is. See, this is why I don't make me the cameraman helper. I never asked you, you to see do that. that. Oh, I, I was gonna, I was gonna show you. Then the TV was in the way. Ghost of Belper. I guess there he is. How's it going, guys? Ghosts don't show up on camera. So what are we doing for next in bracket here, bro? That's a really good question. Yeah. I'm about to ask. Still, I'll be go back. ask him. I'll, I'll entertain everyone. So in the meantime, guys, let me get these ad controllers away. Here we go. Time to uh, do some uh, quick diddlies here. We got Defend the North happening July 19th through the 21st. Two thousand dollars guaranteed minimum. Gonna get a lot of money off of that. Please come on through. It's gonna be a big major in the heart of Manhattan. I'm pretty sure Anti and DeBuzz have already confirmed, so you know we're trying to make this to at least a B tier. Come on, guys. Bring it out. Overclock two. My apologies. Overclock two, June 8th, 2019. We got singles and doubles happening in Boston. Go check it out if you have the time. Then we got Smash Ultimate coaching from your boy G5 Cosmos, aka Rory. Set analysis, look at these great deals. He'll analyze a set that's best of three for $5. Listen, man, you could go out there and go spend $10 on, like, a hamburger in New York City, or maybe, like, a sandwich or something, or you could starve yourself and get two best of three sets from one of the best coaches out there, man. He will tell you, he will diagnose the crap out of you. Or maybe you want a live session with them too. You want to do some little Discord action. You've got one hour session for 20 bucks. Go ahead and DM Rory Cosgrove or Game 5 Smash if you want more details. I heavily suggest it. He's really cool. Aeon 3. Happening July 27th to 20th. I should be there. I'm pretty sure we've got the Tri State Circuit Grand Finale happening there. Season 2. Casual Invitational as well. It's featuring singles, doubles, squad strike, and cruise. 
Register now at smash.gg slash alpha3. Happening in Long Island. All right, guys, we're going to go offline for just a second. What uh, happened? We'll be right back. Okay, bye, guys.